All right, we're at the shop and you guys haven't seen this in a minute. This is my Suron. I know it says Segway, but I'm just trolling people. It's actually a Suron. Everyone always gives me hate for that because they're like, no, it's not a Suron, it's a Segway. It's not, it's a Suron. So if you don't know anything about this bike, you really are just living under a rock and you should go and do some research. This is a killer electric bike and uh, it, it's, it's in a league of its own. And I have someone else here that's in a league of their own as well. Will, going, what's going on, man? So this is hey, Will. Good to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you again as well. Will came to me when I first got the Surons, and he came with a, a group of dudes that showed us what Surons were really capable of doing. And uh, if you go back and look, search world's fastest Suron, you're going to see him doing some wheelies and stuff in a parking lot. <laughs> I think you Crashy. ditched it in a parking lot once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. pretty hard. That was awesome. But hey, you know, cra crashing is part of learning. You got to, you know, get, get better at it. I suck at wheelies, so I'm not even going to say anything. <laughs> if I tried to do a wheelie on this thing, I'd crash it the first time. But anyway, we're not here to crash and do wheelies today. Today. today we're actually kind of doing the opposite. Um, Will, is, Will is the owner of a shop on eBay called emx shop go check him out he's gonna start making products for these bikes and he brought one of them today to show us and it's pretty interesting because these bikes are not street legal um they if you can tell they don't have like turn signals they don't have a lot of stuff that's necessary in order to be street legal i have a dealer tag on it so don't don't hate but um it doesn't have a brake light it doesn't have things like that and you've got something for that yeah, yeah. So we've been in the works uh, building this turn signal kit for about almost a year now, sorting out all the kinks and everything. And I think we got a really good product here that's plug and play. And Let, let's take it out of the bag and take a look yeah. at it and see what we got. Because I'm excited to be able to to participate on the road. I guess is the best way to put it. Yeah. In a legal fashion. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you know, you don't have to use hand signals anymore. Right. Don't have to worry about someone not seeing me stopping. Yeah, or... it's actually, it really helps with the visibility of the bike. Safety. It's big on safety. Yeah. And it actually helps with stealth too, because you can turn the whole system off. System off. Okay. And then. So if, so if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're in like a, like a, like a uh, off-road trail or something like that, obviously you don't need your turn signals and brake yeah. lights and things like that. And no one it, it's, it's going to flag you for that. So you can turn it off and kind of blend in with the. So trail. you can, um, the switch turns off the, the running lights mm -hmm. so that you're a little more stealth. Um, but when you turn the switch off, uh, you can still use your turn signals. Okay. And you can also still use your brake light. So it's just like turning lights off yeah, on your car. Yeah, like a car. Yeah. Okay, cool. So daytime basically. Yeah, so nice. it adds a little bit of safety, a little bit of visibility, and it also adds a little bit of stealth too. So okay. Well, let's take a look at it. Yeah. Both worlds. I like that. All right. All right, here we go. Let's take a look at this bad boy. Okay. That's it. Nice. So, All right. as you can see, it's like a nice little unit here. Oh man, look at that. All these, I see pre-terminated. This is really kind of a plug and play, huh? 100% plug and play. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, so a lot of guys are always a little bit scared to do wiring, you know? Mm -hmm. And and that's obviously a, a safety concern as well. Exactly. These plugs look like they're all weather pack or yeah, weather very connect. waterproof. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty standard e-bike plugs. Yeah. I, called uh, Jula. Okay. And uh, you'll see those a lot on like the ASI kits, a lot yes. on the, uh, sure. a lot on the displays for ERT. I think the Bafang also. Exactly, uh -huh. that's exactly what it is. So cool. it's just a really compact waterproof plug that's Easy to manage, easy to plug in, and, and I've got I've got multiple e bikes. I've got mm -hmm. other e bikes too. Cool. I've got like actual e bicycles, you know, with like yeah. the pedals and everything. Cool. So I, I, this could work on those too. Totally, as long as you have a twelve volt system, yeah, it, it'll work. And I also made it so that um, it comes with an adapter so that you can use it on ATVs, dirt bikes, anything with a twelve volt battery. Nice. So it's pretty universal. I think it's something that uh, a lot of people will appreciate. So Will is deep in here. He's already <laughs> getting stuff done, as you can see. He's routing the wiring for the tail light. Correct. Tucking it into the. There's a. Obviously, you can see there's a plastic thing that kind of hides the wires, Oops. and he's just putting it right behind that. Yeah. Pretty cool. So this is all going to be very, very stealth looking. Yeah. Okay. So Will was saying, just take the battery out, and 
that way you're not pinching any wires and everything's real easy to get to the battery comes out in one second if you got even this is not a stock battery but even the factory battery comes out you just unplug it and it comes right out and then the battery tray's got to be out for i think for some of the wiring as well right um just just this little like guide right here is the only tray that you got to take out. oh that's it okay yeah. easy um, well, mine doesn't have a battery tray because I got a big boy battery anyway. Yeah, so. no problem. <laughs> All right. So now we've got everything hooked up. Uh, we've got our controls mounted here. We've got our turn signals mounted on the fork tubes, which I think is pretty good. And we've got our rear light here. So the factory... Uh, running light still there yeah that was the brake you can see the brake light comes on it's that bar on top and that's going to be plenty bright at night especially it's very visible the camera doesn't really show it as much as it really is um the headlight is hooked up to the switch here so now we've got headlight and these come on as like daytime running lights i guess you can call it or in conjunction with this they're pretty bright so they're definitely going to add to the visibility um but with the light on, even, there's your turn signal. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna turn the turn signal off, turn the headlight off, so you can see how it goes. So we got our left turn signal there, and our right turn signal there, and it's pretty cool. It's a sequentialing LED, I like that. And in the back, you can see the turn signal is indicating as well. Pretty cool, and a brake light. So I think that about covers it. That's a pretty simple install. Yeah, it's simple, but it works effective. And yeah, and that's gonna be really good at night. We'll have to do some video at night and see how it looks, but yeah. super, super sleek. Like you said, it, it gives you that stealth opportunity. You can turn it on and off. And uh, I, I like the added visibility from the lights being on. And, yeah. and cruising around it's definitely like a triangle of light where yeah it's easier to gauge distances I yeah think, that's yeah probably one of the biggest issues in motorcycles that right you, you can't really tell how well, from away. one point exactly. yeah so when you have a little bit more of a 3d image it helps and yeah it really have cool much weight at all and no no weight i mean that that package weighed a tenth of a pound yeah, it was exactly. nothing <laughs> exactly. I, I carry more in my pocket yeah so than, not than that. A bunch of weight to the bike no, and, uh, no, and it's and it's super, super sleek. You can see it doesn't have, it, it doesn't stick out at all. Um, it doesn't have any. It doesn't add any extra girth or weight or anything anywhere. You don't even know it's there, really. Yeah, exactly. um, I opted for the reed switch here with a magnet. That's how the brake light comes on. And you can use the factory um, reed switches that are removed on my bike. So we opted for this instead, but. Really cool kit, really complete, super easy to install. You, if you have those those five tools or whatever you need. Basic stuff. Basic stuff, you can do it in your garage in maybe an hour. If you take your time a little longer, but it's not that bad. I think the hardest part is just routing the wires underneath this ignition switch. But take your time and, and don't force it. And it, 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 it comes out really well. So get yourself one of these kits. If you want one, go on eBay. Check out EMX Shop. Shop. Yes. EMX also Shop. On the Facebook uh, page. It's okay. also EMX Shop. Okay. Check it out. And uh, if you guys have any comments, any things you think I can improve on it, just let me know. Will's a good guy. He's been. We've been Saran buddies for a few years now, and uh, I, I I love what he's doing. I think you will too. So make sure you go check it out. And if you have any questions, make sure you hit him up. Hit me up. I'll be more than happy to help as well. And I can't wait to see what you come out with next. Hey, man, I, I appreciate this, the shout-out. This, this guy is a mad scientist. If you don't know, you should go and see some stuff. I don't know where they're going to find it, but yeah. you've got some stuff, like some robotic stuff and things yeah, that you work out, on. Uh, Rod, uh, Chris Rodnick's videos. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. I, I, did, forgot, uh, yeah. I did a ride out at a mountain bike park. That's uh, right. I remember that. That was yeah, that was crazy. That was fun. And uh, I brought the solar panels out, and we had a good time. Yeah, didn't you guys get yelled at? Uh, yeah, we did get yelled at, but uh, we ended up talking to the park ranger, and and it was okay. He, he let it slide. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good day.
So anyway, go check those videos out. I do remember that. That was really fun. I might actually go watch those videos again myself. And uh, yeah, so hit me up. Let me know if you need any help. Let Will know if you need any help. And get yourself street legal with one of his street legal lighting kits. I'm gonna the turn first, it on one more time. The original. The original. The this is it, man. Yeah. When, ever since I saw him put this thing together for the first time, I've been asking him to hook me up and here we are. So, got one of my own. All right, we're back home. I'm gonna turn the lights off so you can kind of see what this looks like kind of at night, huh? <clears throat> Okay, so this comes on. Lights are off right now. Lights on. Look at that. That's so cool. I love it. And it adds quite a bit of side illumination as well, which I am really happy about. I like this. It's everywhere. You can see all around. It has like this halo effect now on the ground. Love that turn signal. Really cool. I like that sequencing too. And in the back, you can see, it looks really nice. And with the lights off, you can see the brake light. Pretty cool. So really, really a well thought out, well designed kit. Pick yourself up one today if you've got one of these bikes or even if you've got any e-bike. You want to be safer? You want to be out on the road? Consider it. I love it.